Oh, 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 oh. What's going on, guys? Been a while. I'm a little camera shy tonight. Big Rob's camera. Freaking shy. Not a chance. She's a brew night. Got a lot going on. Um, got the. Uh, I'll give you an update on the brew pub another time. That's come more in renovating stages. Um, don't even have my gear up yet, but uh, I'll do a video for you real soon on that. Tonight, I wanted to, it's been a while, so I wanted to get a little brew on. I'm out of any uh, beverages here at home, so we're getting it on. I'm doing the uh, uh, Mosaic Blonde, compliments of Numb Thumb Brewery, but this time with a little twist, um, because I'm going to use up some of the grains I had on hand. Cara Munich 1 was supposed to go into it, I'm using Cara Munich 2, um, that's 7 ounces of that. Um, using uh, nine ounces of carapils, nine pounds of two row, and uh, six ounces of flaked wheat, and six ounces of flaked oats. So that's a little different. Um, I'm using my da -da, Brewers Ed Mash and Boil, and we are, I've really got to get this thing uh, insulated like uh, my boy Simon's got because of temp temperature fluctuations. Blow chunks, not cool. Um, so I got to do that. Um, so we've got, actually I'm doing my rinse sparge here, the water for my rinse sparge, I just do it on the old kettle. Gotta get that up to 168, I bet you I'm there already. Um, so sparge, or the, uh, the, um, the mash is almost over, I've got about five minutes left in the mash, and then I will crank the temperature up to get that mash and boil, heading up the boil, it takes about half an hour if I need to get there at least. And then I'm going to boil this bad boy for one hour. It's a mosaic blonde, so it's three hop additions. Uh, half an ounce at... Yep, we're there. Right past. Perfect. I always blast right past my uh, sparge temperature, but not a big deal. We're at about 173. You can go You can go higher. So that's where we're at, 173. We're going to sparge with that. will cool down. Hopefully a little bit. Probably not. Um, pretty good volume of water. I'm using 1.5 gallon six liters um, for sparging because I did 5.5 gallons in the mash I find it absorbs about half a gallon um, the grains do so after the mash I should have about five gallons left um, I'm then going to rinse with about 1.5 so we should get somewhere around 6.5 going into the boil maybe a little less than that um, I lose about 0.5 in the boil, so we'll be a little under 6 um, after the boil, and a little bit left because of the shite on the bottom of the kettle after the boil. So going into the fermenter, probably about 5.5. We'll see. We'll see how close we get to it. Anyway, guys, that's what I got. To, uh, oh, look, I got a little something, something here. Look at this. Look at this. My boys and girls. Got myself a spidel. 30 liter, I was going to say 30 gallon, that's a 30 liter bad boy right there. So pretty excited about that, I got a full star sand right now, and uh, we'll be cranking this bad boy up. Uh, going to uh, gonna actually uh, chill, I'm going to do a bath, um, chill, ice bath is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Long day man, it's going to be late night. Um, ice bath to get the wart down, so I'm going to be actually pitching this bad boy tonight. So stay tuned. The brew. Is um <laughs> oh yeah the mash and boil is having a little whiskey. There she goes. That's the uh, we're draining her. I cranked her up to 1600 watts. Um, cranked her up to 215 degrees Fahrenheit to get this thing boiling. Um, I then took my pot and dumped the one point. What was it? 1.5 gallons of water, six liters, I believe. It was about 172 degrees Fahrenheit in there. Let her all drain through because we're doing a, uh, a rinse sparge. And uh, after that, I'll be putting the cover on and getting this thing up to boil. Then we'll be back for the first hop of the seal. Bam! We are rocking, baby. Oh, yeah. We've got boil. Yeah. 0.5. Going in there into the oil bowl, into the oil, <laughs> into the oil boil. Nice. Um, so let me see. I think the next hop edition is at the 10 minute mark. So I've got 50 minutes to go. Let me see. Pop, uh, pop, 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 pop. Yep, 10 minute mark. So I got 50 minutes to go. Um, I'll actually be back in 45 minutes. 
because I'll be doing the war flock at the 15 minute mark. We'll return. 15 minute mark, war flock, Irish moss. Helps to clarify it, drop all the shite to the bottom. Drop her in there, there's 15 minutes left in the boil. Let her do her hissing and popping. And uh, another five minutes we'll be doing our last hop edition of the night and uh we'll be wrapping her up yeah so uh brew day was mm, 48 hours ago i believe just there and about anyhow um ran into some technical difficulties with my old mash and boil um got an arrow four message 50 minutes into the boil and she stopped boiling couldn't get it to go so I'm dealing with Williams Brewing, a couple things, they're going to send me a few things to try and uh, they're very receptive, kudos to Williams Brewing, appreciate that. One year warranty on that bad boy, so they're, uh, I've had it since March of last year. So we've got uh, still a few months and like I said, they've been very receptive in helping out. Nice hairdo man, looking good, yeah. Anyhow, so I just carried on with the brew, 50 minutes, shut it down, said screw it. Um, chilled it, um, did a little ice bath this time, with the fun of it I guess. Um, it chilled in an hour actually, I was kind of surprised, put it in a big container and uh, filled it up with ice and water and chilled down in an hour. New Spidel on the go, I decided to uh, um, dry hop this boy 36 hours in, uh, I wouldn't even say it was as high crowds, it might have been getting there, um, so it smells some nice right now. I don't know if that thing's, yeah you can see the top, they're bubbling a little bit here and there. Oh, good Jeez. Uh, there we go. There we go. A little up down motion there. Nice. Yeah. Chugging away. Chugging away. Smells something good. So I don't know. I put the one ounce in the dry hop. I may, uh, I got half an ounce left. I just had to laying around. I may dry hop that again in three days just to get a little extra of the old mosaic up in there. That's what I got, guys. Check me out, makebeereasy.com, makebeereasy.com. Be sure to sign up for my uh, updates on the website. Send out all kinds of good stuff from time to time. And uh, stay tuned for the update on the old brew pub that's coming along. I'll be back with an update on that very shortly. Peace out and get your brew on. Yeah.